guys, I'm Axel Anderson. and welcome to this video that's a little bit different from all the other things I've done here on YouTube before. It's not a lesson, it's not a tutorial, it's not really a demonstration. But so what's happened is that today when I was warming up and playing around a little bit, I came up with this groove that I thought was pretty cool. So I thought about it a little bit, worked around it and saw what I could add to it or take away, etc. So I just had some fun with the groove and I thought it would be really fun to make a video for you guys about this groove and kind of about musical application and just to get your brains thinking musically and about drumming. So it starts off with a really simple basic groove and then I add more and more details to it. So what I want you to think about is with these changes, how does it change where it can be used? Uh, how much more attention does it require? Does it get better? Do you think it gets worse? Which groove do you like the most? Can you use them in different situations, etc.? Just thinking a lot about the drumming and the music and the playing, etc. So, just a little video to get you guys thinking. I hope you enjoy this one. Let's get right into it. Okay, so like I said, it's not really a lesson, but I put the notation at the bottom for you guys so you could follow along and understand what's happening. And if you guys have any questions about any of the parts, you want me to break them down, or you want to understand them better and have me explain them, uh, let me know so either I can help you directly with that, or maybe I can make a lesson based on that if it's a bigger concept. Uh, also, please let me know below which of these grooves you found either more musical or more fun or cooler or whatever, how you would end up using them, if there's any of them you would like to learn or just let me know your thoughts about this video and what it got you thinking. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you soon. <laughs> 